everyone. It is November 2018. Had our second snowfall for this winter. It was just a trace amount. It's cold out, about 29 degrees. But we've got some sun, so that's going to produce some warmth. Should bring the red squirrels out into the trees. And hopefully we can get four. Uh, three would be great, and five would be epic. Uh, it's been a while since I've got five red squirrels in one outing. But that's what we're going to go for. Took a few minutes to uh, zero the rifle and load the mags. I could hear red squirrels not far, three different ones. So we should be able to get the first one here pretty quick. So let me show you my equipment and then we will get out there in the woods. That is the trusty FX Streamline 22. That's an ATN Excite 4K Pro 5 to 20 on there. Excellent optic. Got a very basic Harris style bipod on there. And the Donnie FL Tonto suppressor. All right, we'll have a couple different views in this video. One is uh, from the gun facing back, and the other one is through the X sight. All right, let me throw another layer on, uh, some gloves. I gotta wear an orange hat today. And let's get out there. The first squirrel should come pretty quick. Okay, that didn't take long. About 100 feet into the wood. I think I see him. I need to maneuver around here. Oh yeah. is not quite visible. Smoked them. Straight down. Okay, that might have been that single squirrel making different noises. It sounded like two different squirrels. up there slowly in case there are two. That was about a uh, 25 yard shot. He was only about 20 feet high in a tree. Let's see where he was. Let's go up there and check him out. the 
head between the eye and the ear. You can see is a right eye is bulged out, so perfect hit. Okay, I got the first one down. That uh, wasn't very challenging, you know, he's just sitting there. Uh, made it pretty easy. It's a little bit windy, but amongst the trees, uh, it's pretty much just aimed crosswares. Don't even have to hold for the wind with uh, such a close distance. So uh, let's walk further on into the woods and see if we can get a second one. Red squirrel, really quiet. Dang it, the X site locked up. It has random lockups when you hit record. He's just sitting there, I'm gonna force the shutdown and then start it back up. Okay, about five seconds for it to boot up. showing me his head, which I would need to move over just a little bit. There's risk spooking him when you move, but you don't want to make a bad shot. Okay, here we go. Drilled him. Okay, he's stuck in the tree. Here he comes. Straight down. A little bit of twitching. And he's done. Oh, okay. Squirrels are getting a little bit tough. I worked on that second one for um, 15 minutes <clears throat> and I never did see him after he uh, started jumping some trees I think he went into the ground and went quiet so in that one there uh, never made a sound just happened to see a branch moving around and sure enough uh, it was easy as that. He went off the branch towards the trunk, played around a little bit, and then just sat there. So let's go up and recover him. Okay, let's get to him from over here. right below the ear and 
the exit wound right out the other side. Perfect shot, didn't feel a thing. Hang in there. Straight down. Jumping around. Oh boy. Okay, that was an easy one. Uh, let's gather up this one real quick. Let's see if we can get that uh, other one there. This was three. Let's see if we can get number four before the battery on the GoPro dies. Okay, let's go get that red squirrel. <clears throat> it's actually gray and fox squirrel season right now too, but those require a whole different set of tactics. But just going after the reds today. Sitting pretty. About eight feet up. Five yards. Okay, here comes the shot. Missed him. into the ground. No, he's back up in a tree. Okay. Let's see if we can sit tight. It's a clean mess. He was healthy running down and over about 10 yards and up another tree just fine. So see if we can wait him out. There won't be any scope cam for this kill. Take a look at the button I press on the X site. That right there is the photo button. I inadvertently pressed that instead of the record button. I've done that once or twice, but let's just watch it play out from the GoPro. Okay, here we go. Let's go right there. Okay, we're going to be forced to take a next shot. Got him. It was right about this point that I noticed in the, the display that the recording was not active. That's the record button right there, but at this point it was just a little bit too late. Okay, I so forgot to press record on that one for the shot. Got him on the ground though, so I missed him on the first shot. Got him on the second. Let's go up and retrieve him.
Now that squirrel took just as hard a hit as those other ones did. But I noticed it looked like he was moving a little bit, so I poked him a couple times with a stick. And sure enough, it looked like he was breathing. So I made my way back to the rifle really quick and walked back up there with it so I could make a second shot on him. Okay, I have no idea how that one is still alive. He's unresponsive, but he's still breathing. He took a shot right through the neck. We'll finish him off here real quick. Point blank. That first shot hit right there in the left side of his neck and went out on this side. And so uh, you saw me point blank him right there, the first one. He was still moving. So gave him another shot right under there. So that's a tough squirrel. I know a lot of you like the full length videos, but we'll have to move along a little bit quicker here because this one is looking like it's getting up over 20 minutes. Replay that shot in slow motion. Coming up on the last kill in this video, while I was walking around out there, I noticed this Merlin, I believe that is, following me around quite a bit. He eventually landed in this tree where I got this cool footage of him and also sat there long enough for me to take a couple of nice pictures. does vitals. Drilled them. There he goes, straight down. He's done. Okay. All right. Second shot. Well, first shot was a clean miss. And he ran up the top of that tree. I had to come around uh, 270 degrees in order to get an angle on him and it was a nice angle. It looked like he was up there sunning himself, which this time of year is what they do. Uh, the outside air temperature is cold, but the sun is still putting out a lot of heat, so find them in the top of the trees like that. Let's go and recover him, see where we hit him. Came straight down, flopped around for a little bit. Hopefully we won't have to point blank him like that last one. Let's take a look. Oh no, he's he's deader than dead. Oh, perfect shot placement. Uh, very happy with that one. Um, being it's the last shot of the day, my car is just, I can see it right over there, 100 feet away. So, uh, I wanted the shot in the vitals and 
looks like it hit a little bit high, but um, perfect, perfect shot. I'm very happy with that one. I wasn't going to take a headshot on him, being that he was facing straight at me. Didn't want a, didn't want the pellet to glance off of his skull. So I took the, uh, I was aiming for right between the uh, front legs, and it looks like it impacted at the most an inch high, but dead center, right in the neck. So we'll uh, take the camera off the gun and take a look at him. Okay, battery's almost dead, so let's do this quickly. I can't ask for a better shot than that, considering I had to sit down. The tripod was actually on two legs, and I was leaning backwards, and that was a very, very steep angle of incline. And look at that. I'd be surprised if that didn't come out the top of his head. Yeah, it came out. Well, there's some blood there. I can't find a hole. But uh, for sure, that pellet took a clean path right up through his neck and right out his back. Now we're going to call an end to this squirrel hunt. Perfect day. If I could stay out here for a couple more hours and get the few other squirrels that were making noise, I would. But I still have some yard work to do before it gets dark. So I need to make sure I can get home, have enough time to do that. It's been a great day on the Red Squirrels, of, uh, probably the best day I've had this year. So if the weather holds out in the next week or two, I hope to get out again. And uh, probably this area, since I know there are more squirrels here. And I'll bring the ultimate sporter out next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.